Lake Union has been a seaplane base since 1914 when Silas Christofferson uh, was hired to fly exhibition flights over the city. In 1916, Bill Boeing built a hangar, a three-bay hangar for $10,000 at the base of, of Roanoke. He built it as for pilot training to prepare for World War I as a very patriotic thing to do and people did this all over the gentlemen got together and, and built these clubs, flying clubs all over the country. Being Seattle it had to be water-based, which made perfect sense. Boeing's first passenger flights came off of Lake Union, and we don't remember, a lot of us, that Boeing actually was an airline for quite some number of years, about 10 years, and it mutated into United Airlines. So if you wanted to stretch it a long way, you could say United Airlines started at the foot of Roanoke. The seaplanes of Lake Union are a special mix to mix the seaplanes and the sailboats and the kayaks and the, the work boats, the swimmers, all in together in a, in a very small space of, of water. Most people think this just can't happen, but it's happened since 1914 was the first seaplane on the lake. I'm guessing that Lake Union is, is the busiest seaplane base as far as number of takeoffs in the United States on any given summer's day. Most people would look at this on the face and say, this is not compatible, but somehow it is. 